Hey everyone, John Deere here from John Deere's Embroidery Legacy and today we're going to create an embroidery surprise. Uh, I have a little bit of an idea what I want to do, but I've never done it. We're going to do it on the fly. It's going to be super quick. I know I have a size 16 round hoop that I'm going to use. I know I have a brown canvas bag that's been floating around my studio for a while. And I also have this, which is the highlight, a sparkly piece of foam. This is craft foam that is sparkly on one side. So I want to create something really quick that only take a few minutes and we're going to throw it on the machine and then we're going to see what comes off and hopefully it's going to be lots of fun and it's going to look good. Okay, let's see what we can do and I'm just going to choose my digitizing tools and I'm going to go to my standard shapes and I'm going to go, let's see, I know I have a heart in my urban border so I'm going to grab that heart. I'm going to hold the control key down and just make it bigger and now if I want to look at the size of it, actually let's go into US for a second because I always see things in US as far as size is concerned and I'm going to make this a little bit wider. Let's actually go about 4.8 inches so it's going to be a little bit larger than it is and then I can actually make this into an outline if I want now that I have the original base size I'm going to actually come over to my objects and I'm just going to duplicate this a bunch of times uh, four or five times really doesn't matter I can delete whichever ones I don't want to use but I do like to take my shapes if I'm going to be playing around like this and making them all different colors I really don't care whatever color it is because to be honest embroidery machines do not really see color they see color changes so I now have all of these objects at the original size I'm gonna grab that last one and I'm gonna actually turn it back into a fill stitch and then actually just for argument's sake let's make it red so that we have a red heart and I'm gonna turn it into a ripple stitch and I actually love this effect uh, I'm gonna go out of my US and back into metric because in embroidery settings we do think in metric and I'm gonna change the spacing from two millimeters to let's say four millimeters and now that's nice and loose but it's going to hold that foam into place and I'm still going to see the sparkly stuff show through. I might actually use a metallic thread to hold it in place. Now if I start looking at my placement stitches, let's just go up to number one. Uh, 2.5 millimeters is good for showing me where I want the actual uh, piece of foam to, to lay. Then the next one I'm actually going to maybe change to about 4 millimeters. That's just going to hold it in place and actually I'm going to make it the same color as this one one here so I'm going to move that up in the order and now we have the same color so it's going to do um, outline tack down and then it's going to do the placement right away and everything's going to hold in place so after that's done I'll go down to the next one and let's make this a satin stitch uh, actually I'm going to make it black and maybe I'll do black and I'm going to actually do this I think in a piece of foam as well so I'll actually kind of have a, a foam on foam effect and I'm going to look at my spacing go to a manual spacing and I'm going to actually change this from 0.38 to 0.2 millimeters which is going to give me a lot of density to really carve out that uh, fill and if I look at my underlay let's go to the underlay I do not really want to zigzag but I do want an edge run and I'm going to change that setting to one millimeter so that it helps to perforate the edge of that foam that it's going to create so now I have a perforated edge that's going to hold it in there now that last one I don't think I'm going to do anything with it so let's just delete that but actually let's take that last object and I'm going to go to let's say create layouts and I'm going to go to my uh, create outlines and I do not want it to outline around the object but I do want offsets uh, 0.25 is good offset 3 is good I do want to make sure that it is on sharp edge I do not want to include the holes because I don't want any stitches on the inside of the heart but I'm going to hit the OK and now I have three offset stitches so that's what it's going to look like now we can change those I'm going to actually grab each one and I'm going to actually change that outline to a stem stitch this will give me a nice kind of jagged look to it and uh, I might increase that uh, width just a little bit actually maybe 0.25 or 0.5 let's try 0.5 first see how it works that made it a little bit wider let's grab the next one I'm going to change the color of it do the same thing I'm going to choose that same width so we'll do 0.5 instead of two and that way they're almost touching and then I have one left and let's do the same thing I'm going to take that one and I'm going to change it into a stem stitch and let's do the point 
two, five as well, enter. And now I have a really cool effect. And you know, as I said, I can actually have this going from now red uh, to orange and then out to a yellow so it's going to look like it's bleeding out almost and that should be pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to actually take those three and I'm going to move them in the order. I'm going to actually, uh, actually you know what, I made an executive decision. I'm going to actually take that one and I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to change the color of that one and I'm going to make it a different color and put it right over here right after this one and I'm going to actually make sure that the stitch length is set at one millimeter. Now the reason why I have a separate color change is it's going to do an outline, tack it down, do all of those borders, then it's going to come and do a one millimeter stitch that is going to literally cut the foam. I'm going to have to pull off the foam at that point and then I'm going to actually take these colors and I'm going to move this right over to here and that way it's going to do all of this and then I'll lay down that last piece of foam again and I know exactly where it's going to go. The only thing I might want to do is I might want to again create a tack down a loose tack down stitch to hold the foam in place so let's duplicate that one more time and then let's make that into a four millimeter stitch again which it already is and put that right there at the beginning and that could be the exact same color black so I've taken one shape and look what I've done to it I've, I've turned it into you know one two three four there's just nine different objects there all with different properties uh, to adjust for this design. Let's throw this on the machine and I think we're both going to be pleasantly surprised by the results. And now for my favorite part. We finished the design on the machine and let's see what we got. I'm gonna leave this actually on the hoop and we're just going to tear off the first piece and we can see that the outside is done. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna tear apart the inside part of the foam. I just have to grab it here and there we go. We actually have what I like to call embroidery magic. Actually that looks so cool. And that is a design that we actually threw together in about six and a half minutes and we were done. And Hi everyone, John Deere here and thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Also, to become part of the legacy, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time we release a new weekly video. So join the legacy now. It's no mystery, award-winning embroidery is our history. Mm -hmm.